As winter slowly loosens its icy grip on Lake Champlain, activity on and around the lake is almost non-existent. But under its slushy surface, it's a different story. As spring approaches, a multitude of fish are gearing up for the spawning season, and many of the lake's bays and marshy setbacks teem with life. For the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department, it's the perfect opportunity to begin gathering data for its northern pike management project. Yeah, that's a, that's a good haul right there. Yeah. And some chain pickerel. Looks like we got bass, bullhead, bullfin. Bluegill. Bluegill, crappie. A walleye, excellent. It's a who's who of Lake Champlain fish. It's like opening a present on Christmas morning, you know. That's one of the things I get excited about as a, as a biologist is going out there that morning after setting a net the day before, wondering what you're going to get. And I don't think that the average fisherman has any clue what truly is swimming out there under the waters of Lake Champlain, just how many fish there are, how many different fish there are, and how big some of these things can get. Uh, oh. <laughs> I had like 30 pounds of fish in there. I couldn't lift it. The goal is to collect information on northern pike, but they also take advantage of the opportunity to gather information on other species, and every fish is counted, measured, and weighed before being released. We got a lot of pike this spring with our, our four net sets this year, but we also got you know, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, both species of crappie, gigantic catfish, carp. It's a great representation, not only of just the northern pike that are trying to move into that wetland, but the fish community as a whole of Lake Champlain that's utilizing that area. Solid biological information and a strong dose of angler input are required before any fishing regulation can be changed. Whatever the final result of the pike management project might be, the attention being given these powerful predators is long overdue. If you look at the most recent results of the statewide Vermont Angler Survey. Northern pike is one of the top five fish species you know, sought after on an annual basis. In the winter, I think they're, they're second or third. People are, are really getting on board. And so I think you have a more open public to approach now with some kind of unique or different uh, management perspectives on, on the species as a whole and to recognize or realize is true trophy potential.